Welcome to the joy of music. Today we bring you a very special program entitled Music for a Royal Wedding. Down through the ages, the organ, the king of instruments, has often been the instrument of kings as well. Its noble strains could create an atmosphere appropriate to the most solemn and regal event. Today on the program, you'll be hearing music associated with royal English weddings, coronations, and other festive occasions. The Trumpet Voluntary is an English organ piece in a rather free style written for liturgical use. Voluntaries of various kinds have been used for centuries as processionals and recessionals in royal weddings. The best known among them is undoubtedly that of Jeremiah Clark, a noted English organist and composer who lived from 1673 to 1707. This voluntary for many years attributed to Henry Purcell, is at once spacious and exultant.
Henry Purcell, who lived from 1659 to 1695, did compose much organ music of his own and is in fact generally acknowledged to be the greatest English composer of his era. The fanfare in C features the trumpet stops of the organ and is exactly what the title implies, a short work suitable for the introduction of royalty. Purcell is also the composer of the Bell Symphony in C. Another of the English composers who satisfies the British appetite for splendor and ceremony is Sir Edward Elgar, who lived from 1857 to 1934. Some of his most popular songs are his pomp and circumstance marches. The best known is the March Number no. 1, which is heard in countless school graduation ceremonies, but the fourth while not as well known as the first, freshly evokes the splendid mood and imagery appropriate to British affairs of state.
The Water Music Suite is the best known of the instrumental works of George Friedrich Handel, one of England's most famous composers who lived from 1685 to 1759. According to tradition, this was the work that affected a reconciliation between Handel and King George I when the king heard it performed from a ceremonial barge on the River Thames. The ingratiating water music never fails to charm audiences today. Two movements transcribed for organ have been included in today's program, the noble hornpipe and the gently rocking air. The term air is related to aria and in Handel's day referred to a song-like movement of a suite. Handel's air in F has the lilting pastoral quality of much of his music. We hear now his air in F as played on the beautiful string and flute stops of the organ.
Another famous piece used in many royal weddings is the Trumpet Tune and Air by Henry Purcell. Like the Voluntary of Clark, it features the Enchamad trumpet stop in its stately outer sections. The air, sandwiched in the middle, provides a contrast with its faster tempo and dancing melodic line. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a special program entitled Music for a Royal Wedding as played on the King of Instruments, the organ. We pray that you have been blessed and enriched by the music today. And we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.
If you would like to purchase today's program or any program in our library of over 400 videos and CDs from the great organs and historic churches of the world, please call 1-800-933-4844. We hope to hear from you.